Diana Perrazzo challenges Fabi Apache to a title versus title match at Lucha Libre AAA Worldwide's huge Triple Mania show later this year. Will Sammy Callahan be the next Impact Wrestling star to show up on AEW Dynamite? El Fantasmo will be making his debut. New Japan Pro Wrestling's El Fantasmo is scheduled to make his Impact Wrestling debut next week. And Scott Demore says, keep an eye on Sam Beal. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge, and we are the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan on YouTube. Check us out. If you don't subscribe, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're an Impact Wrestling fan and you don't subscribe, why aren't you subscribing? Hit that subscribe button here at the Impact Lounge. And I do want to remind everybody that I do have my own YouTube channel as well. It's the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Lots of great contents, lots of great interviews on there as well. So check it out. If you don't subscribe, please head on over there, check it out, and consider hitting that subscribe button, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Let's get into it. Diana Perrazzo went over, went over to Mexico last night. She was in Mexico last night for um, Lucha Libre, AAA Worldwide, huge show, Rey de Reyes event. And on that show, Fabi Apache um, was in a uh, six-woman match for the Reina, Reina de Reinas Championship, which is the women's title for AAA, and she was victorious. She won the, Reinas, the Reina de Reinas uh, title, and um, Diana Perrazzo came out. She was on commentary, actually, and she had the knockouts title with her. She came out. Uh, they went at it verbally, and Diana Perrazzo ultimately challenged Fabi Apache to a title versus title match. Impact Wrestling Knockouts title versus Lucha Libre AAA Worldwide Reina de Reinas title at their biggest event of the year, Triple Mania. And Fabi Apache agreed. So at Triple Mania this year, which will be in August or September, it's not confirmed yet. They're trying to get it. So it's going to be in front of a crowd. It will be Diana Perrazzo defending the knockouts title, Impact Wrestling knockouts title against Fabi Apache's Lucha Libre, AAA Worldwide, Reina de Reina's title. Wow. Just wow. This That's going to be one hell of a match. I can't wait for that one. Uh, again, they haven't announced the date yet, but this is going to be huge. You'll probably remember Fabi Apache when Impact Wrestling lasted their uh, tapings in Mexico. Uh, Fabi Apache actually defeated... Um, I forgot, Alicia Edwards, she defeated, and then she challenged um, Tessa Blanchard for the Impact Wrestling Knockouts title unsuccessfully, uh, but she uh, did challenge for the title. So you might remember her from that, but she is one of the best in the world. Um, I, I did some research on her and lots of websites calling her one of the best women's wrestlers in the world. And she's going to be uh, taking on Diona Perrazzo, title versus title match. It's going to be fantastic. I, I just... I can't, I can't wait for this. And I absolutely love Diana Perrazzo representing Impact Wrestling in another promotion and challenging their top star to a title versus title match. Just fantastic. Diana Perrazzo, one of the best wrestlers in the world, not just women's wrestler, but one of the best wrestlers in the world. And she is just fantastic. Absolutely love her going over there. She wants to be the best, the number one women's wrestler in, in the world today. Number one women's wrestler in the world today and one of the best wrestlers in the world today. She, that's what she's striving for. And she is representing Impact Wrestling just fantastically. Just fantastically. She's proving that Impact Wrestling has top stars. That I know a lot of people think Impact Wrestling is a joke. It's not a joke. It's a great promotion. A lot of people on social media still like to knock it. But she's proving that the top stars are in Impact Wrestling. And she is doing her 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 
bit in proving that by going to AAA and challenging their top star to a title versus title match. And she also indicated that she wants a title versus title match against AEW Women's Champion Hikaru Shida. And um, I'm sure that's going to happen at some point down the road. But right now with Triple Mania, Perazzo versus Fabi Apache. And I fully expect, I fully expect Deanna Perazzo to defeat Fabi Apache for the Reina de Reina's title uh, at Triple Mania. I fully expect her. Uh, the former champion was Taya Valkyrie, but she relinquished the title. Uh, she's the longest reigning, um, from what I understand, the longest reigning Reina de Reina's champion, uh, but she relinquished the title because she signed with the WWE. So they had a six-woman match uh, last night at the Rea, Rey de Reyes event, which uh, Fabi Apache won, which I um, indicated earlier. And... Perazzo got in Apache's face and challenged her, and it was accepted. And I didn't, I didn't see it. It wasn't. Uh, I don't think we could get AAA um, events in the United States. I think there's a lawsuit going on. I, someone indicated there's a lawsuit going on with with Lucha Underground, and and AAA is not able to show their events in the U.S. Uh, hopefully that'll be settled before Triple Mania because I want to see this match. I want to see this match so much. This is going to be an absolute great one. And, man, Perazzo is just, she's doing a great job as the knockouts champion. A great job as a knockouts champion. Champion, And, you know, I can't, you know, I just, I, I love, <laughs> I, just, I just love Perazzo. Um, going to other promotions. I just absolutely love it, man. Uh, she's not just going to accept the challenges that are in Impact Wrestling. She wants to challenge everybody in the world. She wants to challenge everybody in the world and say, where else is Deanna Peraza going to show up? Will she show up at AEW next week? Who knows? But great job, Deanna Perazzo. You've made me a huge, huge fan. And, you know, I'm, I, there's nothing but great things in the future uh, for the Impact Wrestling Knockouts champion, Deanna Perrazzo. So, you know, that's definitely one to keep an eye on. That match, you're not going to want to miss it. And I hope Triple Mania will be. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, just uh, had a <laughs> just. Uh, I'm on Zoom here, recording on Zoom, and it and it indicated that uh, there's a mic problem, but I don't think there's a mic problem. Uh, I'm just gonna check one thing real quick, and then we'll we will continue. Just a little. No, mic is okay. There is no mic problem. Okay, just wanted to. Uh, Little technical difficulties there during uh, the recording of the podcast, which I'm going to leave in because it does happen from time to time. And uh, I want everyone to know that there could be technical difficulties when recording a podcast. And also, I want to apologize for not shaving. I just realized I haven't shaved. Uh, so I'm sorry for the stubble. But anyway, uh, great stuff. Uh, Triple Media. Uh, again, they haven't announced the date because I know um, AAA, they want to... They want to do it in front of a crowd. And, and I mean, they, they have a great main event as well, uh, which is Kenny Omega versus Andrade. So they have a, a terrific, terrific show, and uh, they want to get it in front of a crowd. Okay, I mentioned uh, I mentioned uh, Deanna Perrazzo could show up on AEW next week. Uh, that was just, just speculating. But will Sammy Callahan be the next Impact Wrestling star to show up on AEW Dynamite? I think there's a very, very good chance. I think, I, actually, I would be very disappointed if Sammy Callahan wasn't the next AEW, I'm sorry, the next Impact star to show up on AEW Dynamite. And as you saw in the last show, Kenny Omega, the Good Brothers, and they, uh, they attacked uh, Sammy Callahan. Uh, they took Sammy Callahan out. They attacked him. And we all know on AEW Dynamite that Kenny Omega, Good Brothers, Young Bucks, they're feuding with uh, John Moxley and, and, and Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston. So and, and they're, they're pointing. And they're a little outnumbered. And if you remember, if you remember, uh, Sammy Callahan, Sammy Callahan and John Moxley, they were a tag team not too long ago. Well, yeah, long ago, but they were a tag team. They have a history together. And I just, I, I think it would make so much sense for Sammy Callahan to show up on AEW Dynamite and align himself with John Moxley in John Moxley's feud with Kenny Omega 
Good Brothers and and the Young Bucks. It would just make total total sense. And I can see Sammy Callahan and Eddie Edwards both showing up, you know, to to align themselves with John Moxley. Things would get absolutely fantastic. Things would get absolutely fantastic if that happened. And I hope it does. I'd be very disappointed if we don't see at least Sammy Callahan showing up. Because Sammy Callahan is the type of guy that would do that. Sammy Callahan has guts. Sammy Callahan is a is a um is an evil dude. <laughs> He's he could be an evil dude. And he and he likes revenge. And I could see him doing that. Again, it, it has to happen. We have to see an, some more impact wrestling stars showing up on AEW Dynamite besides the Good Brothers. You know, you could say, oh, Father Mitch was on when he did the whole wedding thing, but uh Big deal. We need more. Uh, we need more talent. Impact talent showing up, and I don't mean the whole roster showing up. I mean, Sammy Callahan needs to show up. Sammy Callahan needs to show up and align himself with John Moxley. He needs to align himself with John Moxley. That has to happen. And if if Eddie Edwards comes along, that's great. But Sammy Callahan must show up. Sammy Callahan must show up on AEW Dynamite. And go right after Kenny Omega. Or John Moxley's in trouble and Sammy Callahan lights go off. It comes on. Sammy Callahan's in the ring. That would be so freaking phenomenal. That would be so incredible. So incredible. That has to happen. So Tony Khan, please let that happen. Scott Demore, that has to happen. We have to see Sammy Callahan get some sort of revenge on AEW Dynamite against Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. It, it has to, we, we have to see it. We have to see it. Okay, so next week, actually, New Japan Pro Wrestling star, El Fantasmo, super talented wrestler, two-time winner of the Super J Cup, former IWGP junior heavyweight champion, uh, tag team champions with Taji Ishimori. Great, great, great talent. And I'm so excited that he's coming to Impact Wrestling. So excited he's coming to Impact Wrestling next week. He doesn't have an opponent, but I hope it's TJP. I hope his opponent is TJP because TJP will make him look fantastic. But uh, whoever his opponent is, you need to get excited for, for El Fantasmo. And I know there are people on social media saying, who, who, who is this? Who is, who is El Fantasmo? Listen, enough with that who bull crap, okay? Because we all know, everyone knows that there's a partnership right now with Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling. So there's going to be a talent exchange. And if you don't watch New Japan Pro Wrestling, you're not going to know who the who the talent is. So don't be a jackass and, and write who, like, oh, who? Nobody knows who that is. Well, you don't know who it is because you don't watch New Japan Pro Wrestling. I happen to love New Japan Pro Wrestling, and I happen to know very well who El Fantasmo is. And trust me, you're going to want to see him in Impact Wrestling. I just hope they don't put the X Division title on him immediately. Uh, he's, a, he's a junior heavyweight, so he would be in the X Division. I just hope they don't put it on him immediately. Him against Josh Alexander would be an absolutely fantastic, fantastic match. And that's be one for the ages. And I just hope they don't throw the X Division title on him uh, right off the bat like they did with Finn Juice. But uh, it's, get excited. Trust me. I don't know how many appearances he's going to make. I know it's just the one appearance next week. But fans, get excited about El Fantasmo. Um, he is an absolute top star in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And he's going to prove it. He's going to prove it. In Impact Wrestling as well. So get excited, folks, for El Fantasmo. And I know I mentioned Josh Alexander. Just a quick point I want to make. I hope Josh Alexander has that X Division title for a very, very long time. He's the perfect X Division champion. I've never seen a bad Josh Alexander match. And for them not to keep the title on him for at least six to seven months would be a travesty, in my opinion. So Josh Alexander should hold on to that title. Unless, unless you know, he uh, cashes in option C and goes after the world title. I wouldn't mind seeing the world title around his waist. Uh, but if that's not the plan, and the plan is to make leave him the X Division champion, then he should without a doubt be the X Division champion for six to seven months. Uh, I don't want to see them playing hot potato with the um, with the X Division title. He needs to hold that belt for, for, uh, for quite some time. Uh, but again, get very, very, very excited. Get very excited about El Fantasmo next week. I know I am. Okay, I just want to uh, close us off um, Scott Demore. Scott Demore was asked 
uh, was on a, another uh, podcast. This is uh, Article 411 Mania. And um, Scott Demore, I'm going to read. Scott Demore called Sam Beal, who has made a few appearances uh, on Impact Wrestling, as someone fans should keep an eye on. Here is a Scott Demore's uh, take on Sam Beal. He's, here's a dark horse for you if you've been watching our show weekly. There's somebody who's made a couple of appearances, a young guy named by the name of Sam Beal who is green and as raw as can be, but he's certainly showing some signs of somebody who could develop into a talent. So he may turn out to be the next megastar in wrestling, or he may fizzle out and disappear like so many others. But he's someone who is a guy we have our, we have our eye on. He's got a great a attitude. He's got an unbelievable, he's an unbelievable athlete. It doesn't hurt that he's getting in the ring and working with a good friend of mine, PD. Good friend of mine uh, and PD's in Alex Shelley, who's an unbelievable coach to be working with him and having him at his disposal is certainly going to help him. Okay, so so Scott Demore says, keep your eye on Sam Beal. Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, that's fine. But here's a question for Scott Demore. Who else should we keep our eye on um, that we may see in Impact Wrestling? What other new talent should we keep our eyes on? Why, why just Sam Beal? Uh, what about uh, what about Jackson Stone? Where's Jackson Stone? How come we haven't seen Jackson Stone? You know, we saw him two matches on Explosion. He disappeared. He canceled Explosion. We haven't seen him again. So why, why should we keep our eyes on Jackson Stone? But Aiden Prince, why aren't we? Why don't you want people to keep their eyes on Aiden Prince? What about Lee Moriarty? How come you don't want people to keep their eyes on Lee Moriarty? What about Trey Lamar? You know, how about how about him? How about we keep our eyes on Trey Lamar? How about Alexia Nicole? You know, how come we, we don't want people to keep their eyes on Alexi Nicole? And how come she isn't someone who may be, uh, become a star in Impact Wrestling? Why just Sam Beal? Why? Sam Beal has been used in just absolute squash matches over the last uh, couple of times that I've seen him. He, most recently, uh, W. Marcy absolutely just destroyed him in the ring. Why, why do you want us to keep our eyes on Sam Beal? Again, not taking anything away from Sam Beal. You know, Sam Beal may very well be uh, turned into a star, but but what about other new talent, Scott? What about other new talent? You, you just, you can't, are you, are you just pinning the future on Sam Beal? Or are there other wrestlers? I want to hear about the other wrestlers that Impact Wrestling has in mind. Yes, you got the partnership right now. As I mentioned, El Phantasma was coming, which is great. But what happens when these partnerships end? Scott, what happens when these partnerships end? Is 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 Sam Beal going to carry the torch for the whole company? It's time, man. It's time to um to uh, stop looking, man. It's not, time to start bringing in some some of the new talents. I mean, yeah, you got okay. You have uh, Chris Bay, which is great. Uh, he's he would definitely be a a great um, torch bearer for Impact Wrestling. But but who would his opponent be? Would it be Sam Beal? Is he, are they the future? Is that the future big feud? You, you, you got to start looking. You have to start bringing in some new guys, some new talent. Um, I, I was kind of hoping when I, when I read this, I was kind of hoping we'd see three or four different names, but uh, we only got the one name, Sam Beal. So Scott, it's time, man, because these partnerships aren't going to last forever. They're not going to last forever. And you know, what, what are you going to do? Um, what are you going to do when, when the partnerships are over? And uh, you can't uh, you can't get an El Fantasmo from New Japan Pro Wrestling. You you can't get a private party to come in from AEW. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Huh? You, you're gonna have to bring in some new fresh faces. And now's the time to bring them in while you got the partnerships and build them up. You know to be the future of Impact Wrestling because a lot of contracts are coming due, and there's no guarantee that uh, a year from now a lot of faces we see now will be in Impact Wrestling. So now's the time. Now's the time, Scott. In my opinion, don't wait. Bring in the fresh faces now while you can. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.